He bit my finger. Oh, damn, go on. Yeah. What's up, everybody? This here is a fish gig. It's got three prongs on it. We're in Maryland. Right behind me is a little natural slash man-made little pond. It's about an acre and a half. John running the cameras who set this trip up for me, he has gigged 80 northern snakeheads out of this pond in the last week and a half. Hey, he said there's a bunch more and he saw two that were really big, so we're going to try to get them. Then when we're done here, we're headed back to his house where he's got some beehives, some honeybees. That's right, honeybees. He said we can collect the honey. We're going to go inside, fry up some snakehead, and drizzle that wild honey all over top. And I'm telling you all right now, it's going to be so good, you might want to smack your mama. But not literally, because if I smack mine, she'll smack the heck out of me right back. As soon as it gets dark, we're going to turn the headlights on, put on the GoPros, and get to gigging. We'll see you all in a minute. Hey, I thought we were going to gig snakeheads, not hog hunting. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm in the middle of nowhere, Maryland, and they got us in the jungle. We're on hot pursuit, guys. Hot pursuit. Got him. What was that that just went out of there? Another one. Oh, Ooh. big snakehead. <laughs> All right, no time to celebrate. We got to get two more for There's dinner. Right there. there you go. Don't you bite me. Go ahead and grab it. Get them teeth. <laughs> there you go. Sweet. All right, let's go get another one. Yes, sir. There he is, boys and girls. My first northern snakehead, y'all. Look at this. As seen on TV. He's gonna go into grease. How are we cooking them? Deep fry. Deep fried. But guess what? This is our second one. We want like four or five. They got teeth? Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna chunk him over here in the bushes, come back and get him. This pond we're on leads right over here into another pond. We're gonna go try to get some more Maryland Northern Snakehead. Hold on. Oh, oh, that was my bad. <laughs> I was trying to get just a hair closer. Y'all see that? That was my bad. I'm trying to get the shot for you guys and we just missed one because of me. Oh, two misses in a row. Gosh, spooked another one. They are spooky tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Right there, get him. Got him. Got him. At a boy. That's right. That's right. That's right. Bring him over here and let's get a little poke at that northern snakehead. There we go. Whew. Pretty. What kind of turtles are these? Painted turtles. A painted turtle. Look, these ones, it's almost like, if you're using... How? Oh, I got him. Oh, cool. Well, I gigged him and... I gigged him and then another one squirted out, so I thought I missed him. <laughs> another northern snakehead, y'all. Not a giant, but he'll eat. I barely got him. I need to walk over here to the bank. Alright, I'm on my way. I got the stream. I bet you ain't got to worry about too many snakes right now. Well, I don't want to stumble into a copperhead right now. Look at this, guys. Look how pretty. Look how pretty that fish is. Yeah, a little bit closer. Y'all, look at the beautiful colors right there. Look at that. What's better, a rock bass or a snakehead? Oh, snakehead. Definitely snakehead. 
<laughs> to people on if people really knew how good they were there wouldn't be so many exactly right <laughs> and that's your fun fact of the night how about this we're out here gigging snakeheads in whitetail country cornfields big beautiful pond full of geese and wood ducks and mallards and right behind me is all the pretty woods you'd ever want to see a whitetail in now back to the show what do these turtles feed on out here all this hydrilla yep hey little turtle Oh, this is one of those painted ones. Yep. Hey, little turtle. Now, it looks like a snakehead tried to eat this bass. Now, I can see that mark on his back, yeah. A hundred percent. Well. That might be that giant snakehead. Yeah. What gave you this idea to come try this? Well, I was like, I couldn't figure out if I could get a rod in here. And I was like, man, there's got to be a more fun way to do it than with a rod and a reel. So I was like, I went to the local sporting goods store and bought a gig. <laughs> but what, when did you first know there were snakeheads in here? About three weeks ago. I come back here to check my wood duck boxes. And... Um, these fish kept hitting me in the legs and <laughs> and I looked down with my flashlight in the water and sure enough I was like oh my gosh it's a daggone snakehead huh and then as I was sitting here walking through here I could hear him splashing all over the place and swimming all around so I was like you know what I couldn't focus on anything else the rest of the day and I just went <laughs> went to the tackle store and bought a gig that's awesome yeah little perch crazy how many turtles are out here Hey, turtle. Got one. Now I gotta get him out of these sticks. I thought I gigged him in his head and I gigged him in his tail. He's gig nonetheless. Y'all check that bad boy out. Look at that. How cool are they? It's like a snake. Northern snakehead. You're done dealing, buddy. No more eating native fish for you. Let me see if I can show you their teeth. Look at those teeth. Ow. Well, that's one nice snakehead down. How beautiful is that? That's a pretty one. Yeah. He bit my finger. Oh, damn, go on. Yeah. That's all right. We're I thought I got back. him. I thought I got him in the head, but I got him in the tail. <laughs> That's all right. We'll bite him back tomorrow. Yeah. You're going to be snakehead tacos. So if you guys notice, there's high drill like crazy. But there's about six inches of mud. And right now it's super cold out. So these fish are burying themselves down and we're struggling. But. You got one? Did you lose him? Yeah, he's like right, in, right underneath my feet. He was moving though? Yeah. Oh yeah, he was swimming. He came from that way. Darn it. I mean, he's still here. He's just Anyhow, these snakeheads bury up in this mud and it's super hard for us to walk without tripping and stumbling. But we've got five and that's enough for snakehead tacos. There's another bass. All right, y'all, it is one in the morning. We're going sea duck hunting in the morning. Warren, I don't know if y'all noticed John's buddy. I didn't really introduce him because he snuck in and snug out. He took two of the big ones with him so we didn't have to tote all this weight out. We figured we were gonna get more, but we only got three. 
three big old fat northern snakeheads that I'm gonna show you a lot better in the daylight tomorrow when we start cleaning them. I'm glad y'all are tagging along. I flew my butt all the way up here to come out in this freezing cold swamp to show y'all a northern snakehead and I wanted to eat it so I can't put all the blame on you guys. But we will see y'all tomorrow. We are going right now to check one more spot. If they're there, we're gonna show you. If not, the next time you see me, we'll be in the kitchen. So thanks for following along. We'll see y'all soon. All right, y'all, here they are in the daylight. Look at that, a northern snakehead. And we're right here on the Chesapeake Bay where they were introduced in around the early 2000s, somewhere around 2002. Now there's millions of these jokers and they are so good to eat. Got a good sharp knife? Just one snakehead. Now I've already ate our species of snakehead that lives down south in South Florida and they are phenomenal. So I imagine these are gonna be just as good. And they are slippery, slimy. I just washed them off in the salt water for five minutes and they're still slippery. Full of row. Look how pretty that meat is. And my fingers are cold. Now if you want to, and you don't want to sit there and take your time with the rib bones, just bust through them just like that. Mm. They've got a huge rib cage all the way down their whole entire body. Look how big that rib cage is. Look at that. She slapped full of fat and row. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> now everybody up here that eats them, all I keep hearing is snakehead tacos. So snakehead tacos, it's gonna be. Mm. I probably should have taken my time and cut these out. If you go back, I've done a snakehead video already. I don't know, it's embarrassing, but I'm not sure that what the species we have is called. Bullseye. Oh, a bullseye, yeah, you're right. I cooked him whole and it was flat out good. So with any non-native species, everybody complains, oh, they're destroying the ecosystem, they're horrible, they're bad, they're terrible. Where these came from is a little teeny pond that was thriving with bluegill and bass. Now John's already gigged 80 plus fish out of there and we gigged five or six, something like that. That means they're not destroying the ecosystem too bad because that pond was full of bass and bluegill. But what these things are doing is producing a lot of people with a lot of good fish a lot of good quality fish and now they're not happen to target these native species. So to me, as dumb as that might sound to some of y'all, and I'm sure I'm going to get some crazy negative comments because some of y'all just like to do that. From what I've seen, these fish ain't hurting nothing, but they're producing a whole bunch of good meat. So we got this done. We'll see y'all in the kitchen. All right, I was sitting here cutting up snakehead fillets and I completely forgot to show y'all, but thankfully I saved one. <laughs> this was the second one I shot, the teeny one. But some of these things were huge. That's a cut up piece of snakehead flay and look how much bigger. So all I'm going to do is cut them up in just little strips. We're making snakehead tacos. Just as simply as that, we're going to blacken them. I got some sauteed onions. John picked out some kind of crazy salsa at the grocery store. We're making tacos. Y'all, you know we're going to add some buttered garlic. But we're also going to add some of the original can cooker and some Old Bay because I forgot my can cooker creole. Hey, I know how to make things taste good. I can compromise. We're blackening it, so I want a bunch of seasonings on it. Out of all my can cooker seasonings, this is my favorite, the original.
I'm gonna flip it and put the old bay on it. Show them my feet. They've never seen me in shoes, I don't think. <laughs> How y'all like that? I'll just roll it all up, make sure them seasons are in there good. Can you smell it? It's not cooked yet. Quit trying to smell it. Let's see. Let's see. Woo! Now everybody, since I've been in Maryland, when you talk about snakeheads, talks about snakehead tacos. We got some local. I don't. How, what do you all call yourselves in Maryland? Marylanders or something like that? What? Marylanders. Marylanders. We got some local Marylanders here with us. Chris and Karis Jr. They're fans of the show. It's funny because one of them actually, Chris Jr. was a fan of deer meat and his dad was a fan of me and they didn't know that we were even related. So they're here, they're gonna eat with us. When you're cooking snakehead or any kind of fish, cook it hot and fast, don't overcook it. Now this isn't my cast iron skillet at home, but you can't be picky when you're, being, when you're begging. That's almost done on that one side. Well, I guess it's beggars can't be choosy is what I was trying to say. I know it smells good. For those of y'all that are new to the channel, I've already done a snakehead video, but it was the bullseye snakehead video in South Florida. This is a completely different species. And the reason I'm not cooking the whole fish is every single person in Maryland has mentioned snakehead tacos. Alright, that's a wrap. No more than two and a half, three minutes on each side. But can you smell it now? Let's sit down and fix our plates. Y'all see that? Robert and I, deer meat, were in Cancun, Mexico like 10 years ago diving with the sailfish bait balls and the, the chef at that restaurant put olive oil, onions, and some seasonings in there, cooked it down, then added lemon juice and put it on tacos. Whew, my goodness, it was good. All right, so this is Chris Sr. and Chris Jr., fans of the show. Chris Jr. is a trader, and he only knew about Robert, dear me. Chris Sr. is my man. He knew me. They were sitting in their house and came to a conclusion that they both had a favorite YouTuber and realized, or, yeah, I guess they realized that me and Robert were related. Isn't that right? That's, yeah, how, that's it how it worked. That's how it went down. One of them was showing Robert, one of them was showing me, and that's how that went down. So we invited them for dinner, and they're going to eat first. So I'm going to just take a piece of snakehead. A little bit of sour cream because I don't want to overpower it with anything. You like avocado? I do. Oh yeah. On this avocado, it's not normal avocado. It's got lemon juice and some seasonings on it. Nice. There. A little bit of this mango sauce. You alright with that? I'm down with all that, man. Yeah. A little bit of lettuce. I wash my hands. Don't worry. I'm worried about that, man. We're rocking today. Thank you, bro. All right, you gotta wait till you're done yeah. now. All right. See, first, I don't even eat fish though. Bro. You don't want it? I'm gonna he, try. He's it. Gonna try oh, it. you're gonna try it. Yeah, yeah I've been eating fish it. since I was young. But he he loves a fish. I love so fish. So you go figure that. So, yeah. Well, at least he likes to go fishing. Yes. Make sure you show your daughters too and introduce them and their friends. I will. Absolutely. Well, I was talking about them too. Shove the camera in their face. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all say hi. They're normal teenage girls. They're scared of the camera for no reason. Where's the quiet one? Do you like avocado? Yes, I do. Love avocado. There we go. First, we gotta say a blessing. Yep, yeah, like we always do. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to meet awesome new friends, and thank you for keeping us safe and. Just keep an eye on all of us in the future, dear Lord. Thank you for dying on the cross and forgive us of our sins. Amen. Amen. Amen.
All right, y'all try it. The, I'm making a mess. Now too. this one don't even like to eat fish. The charger. Chris Jr. Oh, thanks, bro. Thanks, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Let's see what we got here. That is good. Mm. Amazing, dude. This you is ain't great. even tasted it yet. Just I did. I just bit it. Oh, I yeah. Did. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's great. All right, give me oh that. You sit down. Now, this is the man This is the man that put this entire trip together, y'all. Hey, hey. Thanks, John. And it's been a serious oh, trip. Yeah. Sit down and fix it. Let's see what you think. Right. Oh, my God. These are great. There's his lovely wife. Hey, so she's camera shy, too. <laughs> Kaylee and Taylor, whatever your name is. So while he's fixing his taco, let me tell y'all, he picked me up at the airport, took me gigging snakeheads, which we're eating now. Then he took me sea duck hunting. Then he took me, um, what did we do? Rock bass fishing. We've tried doing all kinds of other things. We went all over. He showed me everything you could imagine. But I'm going to return the favor with all of them when they come to Florida, and I'm going to show them Blue Gabe style South Florida. <laughs> what you putting on there now? What you putting on there? So I got the snakehead, a dollop of daisy, some lettuce, some mango pineapple salsa, some of the caramelized onions you made, and a little bit of avocado. Mm-hmm. That's nice. Right. Now, what do you think since you had a good chance? To the guy who doesn't like fish, where's the taco at? <laughs> Goodness, you were starving, yeah. huh? <laughs> it was good, man. <laughs> Would you recommend snakehead? Yes. Highly recommend it. Highly recommend it. You're coming in hot, too, huh? <laughs> I don't even eat fish either, but I'm going to give it a whirl. Do you guys want to drink? Sure. Yeah, what are you gonna put on yours? Uh, lettuce and onions. Why don't you introduce? Are you single or are you are you with a boyfriend? <laughs> I have there's a, a lot of friend. single guys that watch this channel. <laughs> Frederick, what about you? You I'm single Frederick. over there? That's Carter. Or Carl? Oh, I don't know why I just said Frederick. <laughs> Frederick. Why did I just say Frederick? Carter, what about you? He's, he's single. He's on the he's on the market. Oh, you on the market, huh? <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's see. That's that's great, man. No onions. Get Is that the first time you made a snakehead taco, John? No, sir. <laughs> oh, you've made them before. Oh, yeah. Let's go. It don't get much better than that. Mm. I'm getting pretty hungry time. sitting here watching y'all eat, so y'all need to hurry up. <laughs> My first time ever first eating snakehead. This is like some of the best fish fish I've ever had. This is great fish. I, I've eaten red snapper, grouper, nothing. I can't buy the chicken tender. Like yeah. Mm. She's having problems over there with her front teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I hope you enjoyed this. It's just us being us. Everybody thinks that we live some crazy life. We don't. We're normal, you see? See how we're all weird and normal and we all got our own little quirks? That's just us. What do you... Can I eat now? You can eat. I'm gonna eat. <laughs> going now. All right, I'm going with a little bit of sour cream and a bunch of these onions because this is like my favorite thing in the world is onions. And avocado. I know what a lot of people are thinking. They drowned it out with so much stuff you can't even taste the fish. Not. Nah. Some lettuce. Come here, Brookie Brook. Sit down next to us and eat. Come on, you gotta introduce yourself to the camera. Y'all, she's the neighbor's kid that disowned her, so she just come over and we felt bad for her. Just right there, Uh huh. Come on, bro, make yourself one. That's such a good fish. And if you saw what it lived in, straight mud sometimes like straight mud and that's as good as any snapper grouper or anything else you'll ever eat mm. i'm gonna finish eating in peace i'll be back in a minute what's up everybody we're back at home and we just walked in so so many of y'all been asking me about frank come here and show him frank see frank died he's dead actually psych look how big he is he's huge he molted again look at sheila show him sheila down there so, we have came to a conclusion that we think we're going to eat Frank. He's soft right now, which means soft shell blue crab. Leave a comment below if I should eat Frank or if I shouldn't eat Frank. Y'all literally have the power to save him or put him into grease. But right now, this video is done. We're going to meet Catch'em All Zach, Paul Kafara, and my brother Deer Meat for one big huge collab out at the ranch. 
Thanks for liking, thanks for sharing, thanks for all the positive comments, thanks for everything you do. We got rock bass coming, we got sea ducks coming, we got this big cloud we're doing today. We also got the video where we're gonna eat Frank, or we might not eat Frank, but hey, like Jake always says, we're getting up out of here and we're getting out of shape, we're getting in the truck and we're hauling Tater to go get the boys and then we're going to the ranch. See y'all.